Hello, my name is Kevin Oyama, and this presentation is for the proposal for the Walt Disney Company. Walt Disney is strengthened in expanding media. In the past few years, the company has purchased a variety of assets that have benefited its overall performance. For example, Walt Disney Corporation currently owns 80% of ESPN, which is very valuable property in the media market. The company is constantly making profit that according to the report from Forbes in 2012, ESPN has brought close to $11 billion in revenue for Disney. Its media section is constantly making profit. However, the company will achieve higher revenue if we were to expand its media outlet. Walt Disney Media Growth and Improvement Since most of the revenue from the media sources are from Europe and the US, the company must expand its market share by targeting other countries. Therefore, Disney should expand its channel and license more TV shows in the other countries and expand its market share in media section by expanding the current channel to many other countries. This will result in an increase in market share by expanding its awareness and media channel in the foreign market overseas. Implementation of the proposal In order to implement this proposal, the company must allocate 11 extra financial resources. One way of doing this is to terminate the funding for the project of expanding its theme parks for a short period of time. The company could then invest the amount in the licensing of new TV programs or create new channels. The company can work on the theme park's expansion after the project has succeeded with the stabilized revenue. Before the creation of new channel, the Walt Disney Corporation will need to purchase the required equipment to keep the channel and pay TV viewers. For example, the company can pay DirecTV to acquire its own channel. After this, Disney can start broadcasting its show that are aired in the United States and translate to different languages depending on the country it is broadcasting in. Disney could also use the existing channel to advertise its new channel. If this is not enough, the company can purchase advertisement time in other cable networks to promote wide. With the steady stream rate in the new channels, Disney can develop new TV programs for the targeted customer. More new channels and programs will result in an increase in number of viewers. In the end, constant stream rate will lead to the opportunity of expanding business in selling advertisement spaces or promoting Disney with cheaper advertisement fees. Licensing. There are two ways of licensing in Disney situation. First, Disney can use the existing show and translate the language for the countries that will broadcast. The cost of doing this would be the expense of translation, new voice actor, and editing visual audio. In this case, the process can be systematic with any animated shows that Disney has created in the past. The possible conflict would be that some of the program would be unfavorable by the people in different circumstances. Therefore, it is important for Disney to constantly create new programs in order to expand its market share. The other way would be to create a show by using existing popular show and to do a remake with it. In this way, the cost would be more than the first method, however, it would be more effective since the company can remodel the show to fit the ideal depending on the country. Disney recently acquired a tiny Japanese cartoon called Doraemon, which is one of the most watched Japanese anime by preschool children. Therefore, the cultural adjustment that Disney make will slow show the suitable and enjoyable for the audience in different countries, and it will increase the number of viewers and demand for the new channels will be increased as well. Potential counter argument: One of the potential counter argument would be the contrast between the benefit and the cost in expanding its foreign market. Since some of the country's markets are not as big as the United States market, the cost might be exceeded. However, the solution to this problem is that Disney will target expanding an industrialized market such as Asia and Europe. Because of the ex expanding market in multiple countries, the, country, the company must fulfill their demand before any other competitor participate in the market. Even though it will be costly in the beginning, this plan will be profiting as, it does, as the time passes. Benefit of Proposal for Disney Company. Following the proposal, Disney will be positively affect both in revenue and its public perception. A major part of profit comes from the media department with 25% of Disney profit coming from the international market. With the proposal, the company could definitely increase the percentage of revenue and increase awareness of positive perception on the international scale. This proposal will also provide benefit to the customer being able to watch Disney programs that are fit to their country ideals. Those programs will translate to their language and change some of the content in order to fit their culture. The show will be appealing to them since it is created specifically for them.
and this is the end of the presentation and thank you